Want to add shred lights to your Super 73 Z1? That's coming right up. Hey everyone, my name is Rick Cordero. Welcome to Run Playback, where we help you with video and tech tips to lead a more efficient and affordable lifestyle. Let's be creative and save money at the same time. Today we're gonna check out Shred Lights, a modular lighting system designed for a variety of light electric vehicles. These lights were originally conceived for skateboards and really blew up once they were introduced to the electric skateboard community. I'll discuss the features and let you know how they match up with the Super 73 Z1 motorbike. And just a reminder, my goal is to always be unbiased and transparent with my opinions. This video is not endorsed or sponsored by Shred Lights. Let's get to it. So I got my first pair of Shred Lights about three years ago when they were still a really young company. From what I remember, they had a unique mounting design with plates that fit underneath the skateboard trucks. Since then, Shred Lights have grown significantly with the boom in light electric vehicles. So here's what I like. Their current line of SL200 lights are a huge improvement from the generation I tried back in 2017. With a size of only about two inches by one inch, it has a compact, stealthy design and are waterproof with a rating of IP65. It features a rubbery, shock-resistant shell that absorbs vibrations, a USB port cover, dual buttons, and something called an S-Lock, which is a proprietary mounting system and quick release that feels surprisingly strong. Even though shred lights are rated at just 200 lumens, they seem much brighter and are visible from up to 2,000 feet away. There are six lighting modes available, which affect battery life. I'm assuming that Shred Lights uses a single, high-quality COB LED light to achieve the brightness levels. As far as accessories, it comes with a dual USB cord for charging two lights through one USB port. I also tested three different mounts, the bar mount, dual lock Velcro mount, and the VHB tape mount. Using the bar mount, I attached the white Shred Light as a headlight on my Super 73 Z1. Because of the curved angle, the VHB tape mount was a perfect fit as a tail light on the rear fender. And since I use a Rurock helmet, the dual lock Velcro mount was ideal as a removable option for when I want a helmet light. So let's take a look at how these perform at night. So what are some of the cons? Well, as far as electric skateboards and one wheels go, shred lights are really the best option. But with e-bikes, there's definitely a lot more options on the market with more lumens and longer battery life. A bike light by nature is often seen as a major part of the bike's looks. With that said, there's something really minimalistic about how modular shred lights are designed. Maybe you have a favorite headlight. No problem, remove it and use it as a helmet light or maybe you have a favorite tail light, simply mount it somewhere else on the frame. Shred lights are really designed so you can get creative with your lighting. And I always believe that the more visible you are, the safer you are. With shred lights, you will definitely be seen. So if you're looking for a high quality light made specifically for your personal electric vehicle, shred lights are a solid recommend. Based on their customer reviews, shred lights takes a lot of pride in listening to their audience and implementing their suggestions. If you want to dive into more video and tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so I can help you save money on tech. I'll see you guys in the next video.